Hi everyone, this is Carol Keller, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and today I'm using the Dress to Impress stamp set and the companion All Dressed Up dies to make the card that you see in front of you. Let me show you the stamp set. It has a bunch of different um, sentiments, Happy Mother's Day, and one that can be used for thank you, kindness is always in style, and then some fun ones like be as bold as your lipstick. So it's a really fun set to work with. The dies that go along with it, the all dressed up dies, there are several that pair with the stamp set. The shoe, which I have over here, and the lipstick, and some of the flowers in the perfume bottle. But there's also a die that cuts out um, a cute little bag that looks like this. And in a later video, I'm going to show you how to really dress this up. I've seen some very cute ideas, but today that's not what we're going to do. Today we're going to make a card. And then the other dies that I'm using today are the stitched uh, shapes dies. We're going to be using two of the smallest ovals, so they are not actually um, on here. And then it comes with circles, squares, and ovals. Or actually, we're using the middle two dies, the ovals dies. So let's get started on our card. Oh, in the bag, um, it's great for perfume or some chocolates or some even some cosmetics. It's a really decent sized bag, so I know that if you get the dyes, you're going to love it. But like I said, let's get to our card. I am using a standard A2 size card, so I've already got that ready and folded to go. And for my first layer, I'm using the same size as the card front in Pacific Point. And I'm going to put that on using my multi-purpose liquid glue. I like this because it gives me a couple seconds before it dries so that I can position it exactly where I want it on the card because I want to make sure it covers the card front. So I'm lining it up with the table, give it a press, and then it dries pretty quickly, which is nice. And then we will get to our stamping. So I've got this layer in Daffodil Delight that we're going to use, but we're going to be stamping, of course, on our Whisper White. So let's get started with that. I'm going to open my ink pads. We're going to start with the Daffodil Delight. And the largest stamp in the set that I'm using today, which is the perfume bottle. And you'll see with the photopolymer stamps that it, they tend to get a pinkish tinge. That's still clean. And even you'll see, even as I'm stamping with light yellow, that pink will not show. It's, it discolors the stamp, but it doesn't affect your actual stamping. So I'm going to stamp that or ink that up a little bit. And I'm going to place about three of the perfume bottles randomly on the card front. And I like to overlap the edges so it looks more like actual pattern paper that you would buy, but we're making our own today. All right, next we're going to use the Melon Mambo to make or to stamp the lipstick. Nice and bright. So I've got our lipstick all ready to go. And we're going to stamp that a few different times. Again, making sure we go off the this way off the paper here and there and now last but not least we have our shoe that we're going to do in Pacific Point and we're going to be using that for several shoes everywhere but first on the cardstock again I'm going off and I want them going a little different ways to create some interest Maybe we'll even do one upside down, and maybe another one in the corner, just peeking through. So that is our card front ready, but we're not done with this stamp because we want to do um, the inside of the card and the envelope to really finish it off. You don't want to hand someone a plain inside or a plain card front or envelope. So what we're going to do a little masking. I want two shoes here, so I'm going to stamp it once, but then I've cut out a mask, and you can actually die cut the shoe 
because of the matching dies, but I cut it out because I like to make it nice and close. With the die, it has a little bit of a white edge, but I want it exactly matching that shoe. So when I line this up, and then take the mask off, it's not gonna overlap. Look at that, cute little pair of shoes. So we've got the inside of the card done, and we're gonna do the same thing on the front. And use the mask again. Link it up. Look at that. Looks like they're right next to each other. All right. And we just stamped. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing on the back. One here. Oops. That's where I want the stamp to go. And another one here. Beautiful, just the way I wanted it. So I think we're done with that stamp. And now we need to stamp our sentiment. So what I have is a scrap of Whisper White that I know is big enough for the oval. And I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. I decided to use Life is Short by the Shoes. And I'm going to stamp it first before I die cut because then it's easier to line it up. And what I'm going to do is place the die where I want it so that the sentiment is lined up in the middle. And it's easy to use just a little piece of washi tape to hold it down so that it's exactly, I know it's exactly where I want it when I put it through the die cutting machine. But actually, through the magic of video, I have actually already die cut all my pieces. So I'm going to pull those out so we can assemble our card. So I've got my layers and I've got my die cuts. Mel and Mambo for the bigger one, the Whisper White with the sentiment, and I'm going to adhere that with my stamp and seal. Make sure that it's centered. And I've got that ready to go. And I stamped and then die cut two of the shoes. Again, I just used a little scrap and gave it a little stamp. Stamped it twice and then lined up the dies and cut them out, um, holding them down with the washi tape. So I think before I put it together, I'm gonna put the ribbon on. Now for the ribbon, uh, Stampin' Up! doesn't have any Daffodil Delight, and that was, I wanted to bring in the Daffodil Delight. But what they do have is a couple of different white ribbons. So for this one, I used the metallic edge ribbon, the silver metallic edge ribbon. We also have it in gold. And all I did was take my um, marker, and I did a couple of different ones. I got a six inch piece and I colored it with my blends. And I wanna show you I did, we have a dark Daffodil Delight and a light one. And here's the dark one, which is actually what I used on my card. But then I wanted to try the light one, so I think we're gonna use the light today. And it's really simple. All you do is just run it across your ribbon. And because it's alcohol, it dries very quickly. I was able to use it pretty much immediately on my card. And it's as simple as that to give it some color so that you can use, you can make ribbon in any of the colors that our blends come in. And it's quick and easy. And I am gonna use the one that I know is dry. I'm gonna use the light one on this. So I'm just gonna tie a knot in the middle And I'm going to layer it on my card. And I'm using glue dots because I know they're gonna hold nice and strong on the back and I just need to run it across the back. Here we go, right across the back on 
one side and then grab the other dot on the other side. And now that I've got that placed, I am going to place my sentiment, make it a little bit higher, and I'm going to use dimensionals for this because I want to get it where it's popped up a little bit to again add a little more interest to the card. So I put some glue dots on the back, or some uh, dimensionals on the back. And here we go. Place that right where I want it. I'm going to move it to the right just a little bit because I want room for the shoes. And then because I want them to overlap a little bit, this one I'm going to put on just with glue dots. Let's see up here. Put a couple of glue dots there to hold that right where I want it. And then for the other one, here it is. I know I'm going to position it kind of like that, so I'm going to put a dimensional under there and a glue dot on the top so that everything is popped up in the same way. So there's my glue dot. And one more dimensional. So cute. And then I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal to adhere this layer. Start over here. There we go. That one's a little bumpy because of the dimensionals, but that's okay. Come on. There we go. And add that to my Daffodil Delight layer. And then do the same thing again. There we go. Easy peasy. And then add that to my card front. And there we have it. Cute little card to send to a friend. And with a matching envelope. How cute is that? And just to show you too, I also used the same set to make um, a whole sheet of pattern paper in 12 by 12 that I can use for my scrapbooking because I am definitely a scrapbooker at heart. So I used some of the same colors and some different ones and I used the flowers from the set as well and the little dots to add even more color. So I can cut this up and use it on cards or I can use it to make a scrapbook page. I was thinking maybe with a strip of um, Melon Mambo down here and maybe the shoes uh, another strip in white with the shoes on them or something like that. Cute little scrapbook page. Easy peasy. All right. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun and I'll see you again soon.